What's up everybody, it's Zach the Celtics guy here. I'm back with another video and I'm on my way to work now and I figured that since I read this little article last night um, and while this topic is still fresh, I figured I would get on here and talk about that and I figured that on my way to work would be a perfect, would be a perfect time for it. Especially considering that this is on the eve of the, considering that this is on the eve of the anniversary of the Iraq War, in which um, George W. Bush, our um, our fucking warmongering president at the time, decided it would be a perfect idea to invade that country under false pretenses. So, yesterday was the anniversary. That the it was the 18th year anniversary that the U.S. invaded fucking Iraq. You know that Iraq war under false pretenses that Saddam Hussein, their secular leader, had weapons of mass destruction, but actually I found out that they didn't have weapons of mass destruction. And then Bush made up, and then the Bush administration made up these fucking lies that, oh, uh, Saddam, uh, Saddam Hussein had ties to 9-11, he had ties to Al-Qaeda, and all this other fucking dog shit. Turns out that wasn't true, none of it was true, or anything like that, because obviously the Bush administration lied out of their fucking asses, and I think that that was clear as day. So, this is what he says yesterday, on the eve of the anniversary of the Iraq war. One of the big, one of the biggest, worst war crimes in American history, perhaps even global history, killing minimum 200,000 civilians, perhaps more. Not to mention the whole fucking war on terror, you know, um, torturing civilians and all that. But that's a whole other story. So here's what he says. He said about the insurrection on the Capitol Hill. Oh, it makes me sick to think about it. Oh, it's a uh, it pains me or something along those lines. I'll link the article in the description when I upload this video here later on. But, um, so yeah, the fucking dumbass literally had the nerve to say that. Okay. The insurrection on the Capitol Hill after Trump lost was fucking disgusting. It was a despicable act of violence and terrorism. And there's no question in my mind, this might be an unpopular opinion to some of my listeners that like Trump or whatever. And that's fine. We can agree to disagree. That's fine. You're still in good company with me. But there's no doubt that Trump with his Trump with his dangerous with his dangerous fucking rhetoric incited that violence on the Capitol Hill. There's no question in my mind that Trump is just a was just a fucking dumbass and a fucking buffoon who incited some crazy motherfuckers to do that on the Capitol Hill because Biden got in. I wasn't happy Biden got in. Fuck no. I don't like Biden either. And you know what? I'll go as far as to say, you know what? I think some of the election stuff with Biden is questionable. So I'm with some of them on that. That was a little bit questionable. How Biden all of a sudden got more votes than Obama and all this other bullshit. Yeah, I believe that all that was seriously exaggerated. There's no question in my mind. There was something suspicious with that. But having said all that, there's no question in my mind that Trump incited the violence on the Capitol Hill. I believe that. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I really don't give a shit. Because that's the God's honest truth. Because... Trump was such a fucking idiot with, with with this bullshit. Like he could have just said, "Yeah, yeah," like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." It's questionable and all that. But but to incite that violence and all that, no, dude, you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot by doing that. Okay. So with all that said, yes, the insurrection was disgusting, despicable, and a stain on this country, and will be a stain on this country for decades to come. I don't dispute that for a second. But for Bush to say that, oh, for Bush to come out and say, oh, the insurrection makes me sick to think about. Okay, here's the thing. 
Bush has no position to take the moral high ground on anything. Do you know why? Because Bush is responsible for the deaths of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. Bush is responsible for the deaths of thousands of innocent men, women, and children, including thousands of men and women who got sent overseas to get slaughtered in a fucking war based on a lie. So as, as disgusting and despicable as the insurrection incited by Trump was, Bush is in no position to talk because he is just as big of a scumbag as Trump is for the same shit that Trump did. That's not to say Trump didn't do all kinds of warmongering too because he did. Let's be real here. Syria and all that shit. But Bush is in no position to talk about anybody else. Bush has no position to take the moral high ground on anything because he's such an idiot. He's such a scumbag. Bush should be in fucking prison. Bush, and I've said this a million times, Bush is a war criminal, a murderer, and a torturer, and a torturer, and a tyrant, and every other bad thing you can imagine. So yes, having said all that, yes, everybody had a hand in the insurrection. Trump is, if he's not partially, if he's not wholly to blame, he's at least partially to blame for the insurrection. But having said all that, but like, dude, this, as, as much as I fucking hate Biden, that did not help your case. But anyway, moving on. Bush is in no position to talk. Bush is responsible for all this carnage in the U.S. and abroad. He is in no position to talk about anybody. Nobody. Not even someone as, not even someone as idiotic as Trump. Not even that. And that's not because to say, oh, Trump's a meanie poopy head. Like, that's the reason why all these establishment Republicans are against Trump. It's not because of his policies. It's because he's a meanie poopy head and all that. That's what they, not because of Trump's policies or because of, not because of that. No, when, when, when Trump committed warmongering, the other Republicans fucking agreed with him. Even some of the corporate Democrats even some of the corporate Democratic politicians, including fucking idiots on CNN, like Jake Tapper, supported Trump's warmongering in Syria and Venezuela, but that's a whole nother story. So yes, the establishment loved it when Trump committed war crimes, when he committed war crimes in Syria and elsewhere. But oh, that was, yeah, but when, but when Trump does something, but like when, like, like when Trump says things that are, you know, politically incorrect, the Republicans were throwing a fit. Now, that's not to say that Trump didn't say some idiotic things. No, he, he did. And Trump could never keep his fucking mouth shut. That's why I can't stand him either. And that's why it's like, dude, yeah, as much as Biden's a fucking idiot, and I think there's some questionable things as to how he got elected, but Trump did not help his case when he got, when he lost. I'm just saying, that's my opinion. And we can agree to disagree, anybody who's listening to me. I have no quarrels with you. But the bigger point of the whole video is this. Bush should shut the fuck up and stop fucking talking. <coughs> Excuse me. Because this is just a pathetic attempt for fucking, for this idiot to stay relevant. That's all this is. All this is is, is just a fucking desperate attempt for the Bush crime family to stay relevant. Bush is in no position to talk about the assault on Cap on the Capitol Hill, as, as disgusting and horrible as it was. Just like, just like, Bush committed an assault on foreign countries. And that's not to say that Trump didn't do the same thing, because he did in many cases. But Bush, no. Bush should keep his fucking trap shut, and he should shut the fuck up and go away. Because I'm going to tell you right now, he is responsible for, he's done way worse things than Trump in many cases. There are certain things Trump did that was worse than Bush in a lot of cases. That might also be an unpopular opinion, but I really don't care at the end of the day. So, yeah, and in a lot of cases, like, 
No, like I like I dislike Trump and Bush equally. I might dislike Bush maybe half a point more than Trump because because of because he actually committed a full-scale invasion and killed all these innocent people. Trump didn't do that. Yeah, Trump did kill a lot of people overseas like in Syria and whatnot. Not to the level that Trump did. Now, killing people one way I'm not saying that Trump killing people is worse or better than when Bush did it or vice versa. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that compared to the destruction that Bush caused was maybe was maybe just slightly worse than what Trump did. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, Bush has no position. Bush is not doing this because he actually cares. No, he's just doing it to desperately try to stay relevant. That's all it is to try to rehabilitate his image, which I don't think should ever be rehabilitated. Because now he's playing fucking patty cakes with the with the neoliberals and the establishment Republicans. Like Obama. Like Obama was saying, oh, at least Bush believed in the rule of law, unlike Trump. Yeah, Trump didn't believe in the rule of law in a lot of cases. No, he fucking didn't. <laughs> but here's the thing. Bush sure the fuck didn't. And by the way, Obama is in no position to talk about the rule of law either. You know, um, Obama tried to persecute whistleblowers like Julian Assange and Edward Snowden uh, and all that. And Obama committed, uh, you know, increased drone strikes and all that against the Constitution, attempted to uh, bomb Syria. Yeah, um, Obama meant well in a lot of cases, I will say that. And I don't think he was as bad as many of the Republicans make him out to be. But I also don't think Obama was as good as as all the um, as all the Democrats made him out to be. So no, I think he was kind of in between. But having said all that, no, nobody should be fucking rehabilitating Bush. Bush is a scumbag. He's a murderer. He's a war criminal, and he should be and he should be condemned as such until the day he fucking dies, which will be a good day. The day a Bush dies will be a good day. Just like when H.W. Bush died, just as much of a fucking war criminal, like father, like son, right? Yeah. When he dies, it'll be a good day. When a murderer dies, it'll be a good day. I don't give a shit. Oh, he's the former president. I know he deserves respect. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay? To be patriotic, it has nothing to do with that. That's not being unpatriotic or being a bad citizen or anything like that. No, I'm saying... I'm happy if these scumbag politicians who killed all these innocent people and destroyed our country in many cases are fucking biting the bullet. No, they they deserve that. They deserve to fucking rot six feet under the ground. They fucking do. Bush deserves it 100%. All the Bushes. I hope the fucking Bush family fucking just dies off completely. I hope they fucking die out. Every fucking one of them. Except maybe Laura Bush. Laura Bush is okay. I don't know what the fuck that that lady sees in her in her husband. Her husband is a fucking idiot. He's a fucking moron. He literally looks like a fucking he literally looks like a fucking chimpanzee in a zoo, acting like a fucking oh look at me with that fucking shit eating monkey grin that he always has. Like he's a fucking idiot. Okay, he's a fucking dumbass. Shit. Sorry about that. Fucking camera keeps. I'm gonna cut the video in a minute because I'm almost I'm almost to work now anyway. But it, it just comes down to the fact that it's it's stupid. Like it's 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 really fucking stupid for anyone to be sitting there and talking and trying to rehabilitate this moron's image. No, I I don't understand it. It it, it all comes down to partisan politics. I don't think Trump's image should be rehabilitated either. I mean, ha, ah, his image will never be rehabilitated after the fucking shit that he did. But besides the point, no, I think the whole thing is fucking stupid. We can condemn, we can get into a debate about this all day, about how bad Trump is and the sh fucking shit that he did. But we don't have to rehabilitate Bush's image. We don't need to rehabilitate anybody else's image that is just as fucking bad, if not worse. Yes, Bush is worse than Trump. Bush is maybe Bush is maybe about a point or two worse than Trump. So, yeah. 
I know I might have said some unpopular things in this video about Trump and all that, because I know some many of my listeners like Trump and all that, but this is just my opinion, you know, it's my opinion. I don't like Trump either, but that's not to say that I like Biden either. So anyone who wants to sit there and act like I like fucking Biden because I don't like Trump, that's, no, that's bullshit too, because I don't like him either. I don't like any of them. I can't fucking stand most politicians. Yeah, Trump was different than a lot of politicians, but in many ways he acted like one too. Let's be real. So anyway, the whole point of this is, is just, it's simple. Okay. I'm just going to put a point blank period here. Okay. Bush is not in a position to do anything or say anything about anything. He should keep his fucking goddamn mouth shut. And I'm not trying to say that old Bush should be censored or anything. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that he should shut the fuck up and stop desperately trying to rehabilitate his image. Dude, you can't be. You're a scumbag. Those Iraqi men, women, and children that you fucking slaughtered, they can't come back to life. So you can't be rehabilitated. Yeah, some people can be rehabilitated, but the Bush, but the Bushes can't. Fuck Bush. Fuck every single one of these fucking scumbag politicians. Fuck every single one of them. I can't fucking stand any of them. None of them. The Bush, Trump, the Bushes, the Clintons, to some extent Obama, and fucking Joe Biden. All these morons. I can't stand any of them. Fuck every single one of them. The Democrats and the Republicans. Fuck every single one of them, honestly. Except for a few good ones like Tulsi Gabbard and Nina Turner. I it, I hate to say Bernie Sanders, but let's be real. Bernie Sanders has a lot of good ideas. Let's be real here. He's honestly one of the most honest politicians there is. But he's kind of a weakling, too. I mean, look at him. I mean, so that's a whole nother story. But the reality is, the whole point of this video, I know I've gotten on some tangents, and I apologize for that. But no. Bush should shut up and he should stop fucking talking. Like just shut up and go away. Yeah, like 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 what you did was way worse than than the shit that Trump did. And that's not to say that what Trump did did wasn't fucked up because it was inciting that violence on the Capitol Hill. But I think Trump should have came out and been a human being and said, "Look. Guys, I get that Biden winning is stupid. Biden's an idiot." I don't think he legitimately won. And look, I, I, I don't necessarily believe that either because I think that there is a lot of... Do I think that Biden won the election legitimately fair or square? I'm personally not sure. And I don't. And it, to be honest, it really doesn't fucking matter to me. But I will tell you this. To say that Biden won as many votes as he did is bullshit. That's all I'm saying. And I've said that before. But having said all that, Bush is an idiot. He's just, this is just another desperate attempt for him to try to stay relevant and to try to paint himself to be the good guy when he's not. This is the only reason why he's saying this. Just so we can play fucking patty cakes with the neoliberals and the establishment Republicans. This is all it is. It's not because he legitimately cares about other people being violent. Because let's be honest, Bush is a war criminal and he massacred a bunch of innocent people in a war based on a lie. So therefore, Point blank period, Bush is in no position to talk about anybody else, not even a situation as fucked up as the Capitol Hill riots. Not even something like that. Shut the fuck up, Bush. Fuck off and go away. Get lost. Get the fuck lost, Bush. Get the fuck lost. You, Jeb Bush, every single fucking one of you, just fuck off. Every one of you. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm almost to work now and have to have to get gas before work. So I figured I'd just do that now and get it over with. I have a fucking uh, double shift today. It's just uh, going to be painful. So, <laughs> But I'm used to it at this point. Anyway, thank you all for listening. And sorry if my camera kind of slid a couple times while I was driving. I couldn't really fix it that well because, you know, I'm driving, obviously. So... Safety first, people. I'm sure, you know, safety first, but I'm safe. I'm okay. Wanted to upload this. Wanted to get all this out before work. So I figured I'd take the time to do that. Anyway, this is Zach the Celtics guy. Thank you for watching. And um, it's spring soon. Happy spring to everybody. I think 
Yeah, I think, is today the first day of spring? I don't fucking know. But anyway, happy early spring, if spring is not spring already. <laughs> but anyway, hope you all have a good start to the, to the new season, and I hope everybody's doing well and safe out there. And uh, comment, subscribe, uh, let me know what you think. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I recently just hit the 300 mark, but I think the sub number might fluctuate a little bit. Sometimes it fluctuates a little bit. So anyway, but thank you to all the new subscribers that have subscribed to me. Uh, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And let me know what you think. Did you agree with my position? Did you disagree? Either way, let me know. I won't berate you. We can have different opinions. Like I always say, open debate, open discussion, open disagreements, agreements is always welcome on this channel as I always say. So I'll be back with more videos soon and more content on the way. I have a couple more ideas as well, which I will also be putting out there. Peace. Have a nice day or night, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye for now. Peace out and have a good one.